a broken clock is right twice a day. Hmm. A broken clock is right twice a day. I heard that on a movie I watched. I can't remember what movie it was. But I just heard that literally like maybe a week ago. <laughs> ah, word. See, it be it be in the things. It be in the things. It, it's just it intense. It's intense though. <laughs> hey. So let's get into first before we get into like meanings, definitions, mm -hmm. origins, and facts. Mm -hmm. Let's like just talk a little bit more about our connections to to the phrase. So 20. You. Your connection, your feelings on a broken uh broken clock is right twice a day. Um I would say this. It's one of those things. I feel like it's one of those phrases that you say when you, 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 you really not trying to give credit to something. You get what I'm saying? Like it's one of those things that you say to somebody that you really not trying to give credit to, but you have to give credit to. Like it's one of those things where it's like, uh, I don't want to say you're right. But you're right. Yeah. You know, you know what I mean? Like nine out of ten times you're gonna be wrong, but I can't believe I'm in front of you for that tenth time that you're right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 I'm with you know what I'm saying like one of those situations is like I but uh, you're right this time. And I, and I feel like that's kind of like the emphasis when somebody says it is not like a good kind of like it's not like a it's not too positive. I don't think it's a too positive type of uh, phrase. I think it's really more of a, I guess, I guess, I guess. You know what yeah. yeah, yeah. Heard that. Heard that. And that's all I have to say about that. All right. Shane. Shane. Oh, yes. Shane. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I love it. We have fun <laughs> we, here. We stand up from here. We stand up from here. Yeah. All right, Shane. Yeah. You tell, I'll, I'll round us out at the end okay. of my opinion. But Shane, you tell her, what's your connection? What's your feelings um, on, on that phrase? I'm kind of on the same page as 20. I think it's like a shade, no shade kind of thing. Like it's mm -hmm. a I mean, hey, a broken clock is twice, a, you know, right? At least twice a day, you know? Um, I think it's somebody that's always maybe like throwing out just wild stuff. And every now and then, like, it makes me think about Cole on Martin when he did <laughs> Rinder Spoons, right? And, you know, he always had these crazy things, but every now and then, Something is right. <laughs> so um, I'm kind of with Tony on that. You know, is okay. I give you that. You know, that, that little that little bit of rightness. You know, I give you that one. You know, so I agree. It's it's, it's some shade to it. It's, it's some a little shade. shade to it. Shade. Um, but I I agree. I agree. It's one of those. I don't really want to give you your props, but I'm gonna let you have it this time. Mm -hmm. I think it's those. And that's all I have to I like say that. about that. That's real. Hey, hey Shan, before you start quoting Martin, now don't like we got a show to get through because we'll we'll no, do the whole just, show. I'll I'll do the show now. Don't 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 tease me. We'll just don't digress it out. You feel me? Like, we'll digress this whole show. <laughs> right. Be like, wait, what were we talking about? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be cool because I listen. We gonna give them the soup for free. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And then we go rent them spoon. Go ahead. Yo, that's it. That yo, matter of fact, we say that to say if you need to digress, please do. Um <laughs> for me and my connection to my thoughts on um a broken clock is right twice a day. I'm tracking with both of y'all. I'm with, with both of y'all talking about. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take it from like the it's being told. I don't really say it um a lot because I don't have a problem with the messenger. I'm not one of those people. I don't have an issue with the messenger. So I don't caveat that with like by saying that. But I do notice like <laughs> people say it when um one of the, one of your faves did some something decent <laughs> and you don't wanna <laughs> you don't wanna show no love because they not a fave. You already done broke them down, you already done cut them at the knees so many times. Exactly, exactly. And, uh, you you know what I'm saying? So I just I actually peep the people that say it. Like, and I'm looking at you kind of like, oh, you have an issue with um, hearing the right thing, no matter where it comes from. Like, so that's kind of how I look at it. I don't really, I've never been told it. Um, and I don't really say it. But if someone did tell me, I would take it all bad. Yeah, that's not, not a... Michael Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're right, Mario. I feel like I've heard this one so many times, but I, 
I don't think I've I don't think I've said it, and I, I don't think pretty much people said to me. I've heard it in conversation about people. You get what I'm saying? Like, oh yeah, such and such did this. You know, no, no, no. But why? Right, well, you, you know, write twice a day. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm saying? like, oh okay, I get it, I get it in in, in a format wise. But it's like, yeah, normal normal day. Nah. <laughs> Yeah, you got to inject that in there. Like you, right. that's why like the shape part is like, I'm not taking that as any type of respect because you're finding a way to take away from the right thing you just heard or seen. Right. Like you, right. you're going to spend your energy on that. So, Right. <laughs> Absolutely. But I don't want to lead too far. All right.